I wanted to talk to you about, um, the question is being asked, why isn't she teaching um, consultants? Why isn't she teaching locticians? Why isn't knotted locks for consultants? And why isn't knotted locks for locticians, consultants, salon service? That's what I want to talk about. Thank you so much to you who understand and trust the process. For you who have been having your consultations and you knotters who have been positively learning to knot on a one-on-one -on -one private with Melissa, you all understand why teaching you one-on-one -on -one and consulting with you one-on-one -on -one is the direction to go to help save African texture hair in small size locks. I am trying to eliminate the balding, the hair loss that's happening amongst within our community that nobody seems to be caring about, apart from a handful of us. And what I mean by nobody is those that are running the salon services and those who are tugging and pulling as consultants and opticians are carrying on as those white, white follicle roots are showing up along people's locks. They're not adapting and they're not changing their hand. My work is to tell you, the individual, I see you, I hear you, I understand your lock story and I understand you want to keep your small size locks. To do that, I can't teach salon service because there's so many of you who need me. I cannot spread myself that thin and I'm not prepared to pass on this knowledge to somebody who is going to charge to practice knotting your hair. Because if you get it wrong, I don't want to be brought into it. And so the best way, the smartest way for my well-being, as I explain to you people, I am not part of a sister locks group. I don't have sisters. I'm on my own doing this. So it's the most practical way to practice, to teach what I'm learning. And when I know better, I do better. I think that's really important for you to understand. When I know better, I do better. Do you know what that means? I'm updating and adapting at a rate that I choose to whenever. And so if I, if I feed this information to salons and I'm updating what I know, as I say to you people, check out Dr. Conwell's hair. She's updating. She's just not trickling down to her consultants. She doesn't do her hair that often. Look at her hair. You can see the growth, right? So Dr. Conwell is updating, but she's not trickling down. I would need to trickle the information down to the consultants. I don't have the capacity or the space. And it's not my interest. My interest is with you one-on-one, -on -one, explaining, observing how you're touching your hair and giving you a personal information on how to do your hair. So that's why my focus is on helping DIYers carry out the one-on-one -on -one consultation and then teaching you on a one-to-one. -one. Because I just feel like when I pass the information to you who has your hair, there is an awakening that happens. There is a real awakening that happens. And then you just learn to love on your hair and treat your hair better. And I know you'll be affected by somebody else being in the space when I'm teaching you. And I love what I do. I love what I'm doing. Okay, so I wanted to tell you something, right? I wanted to give you a bit of information in terms of the certified. Okay, some people are sitting in sister locks chairs and they're making a decision on the basis of the fact that the consultant is certified, right? The consultant is certified, so I sit in the chair. Please let me explain to you what that means, right? I'll give you an example, me. I went to the sister locks course. I basically was told to be quiet. First half, first break, I was told to be quiet. Like I'm making, I'm being distracting. So I, I kind of kept myself small. I mean, not that small because I can't do that. But I felt like I wasn't heard. Every time I asked a question, there was an interruption in the class. Somebody else asked the question ask the question and I noticed that maybe because my questions were questions that linked with African texture hair because I was practicing 
I was practicing work with natural hair. I noticed that my questions weren't answered. And so I left understanding that actually, from my background, this information they're teaching, me being Sierra Leonean, this information they're teaching, it doesn't quite work with what I'm discovering. Because me, I know nothing. I don't have a cosmetologist a specialist certificate. I don't come from a beauty background. I am just an African woman who has African texture hair. And the only way I can learn is by paying attention to what my African texture need, hair needs, what my client's African texture hair needs, what you guys, your African texture hair needs. And it's so diverse and individual. But I felt like Sister Lux wasn't able to answer that for me. So, okay. So I went on this journey trying to find out and understand African texture. And in the, in the meantime, I'm getting, I'm trying to get certified because that was the dream. I love Sister Lux and I wanted to be certified. So I did kind of do what they asked me to do, but I didn't do much of it. I just took pictures. You know, at the time, social media wasn't this big. So interlocking, as I explained to you, wasn't a word that we used because nobody knew how our hair was being done. We just called it Sister Locked uh, and retightenings. And I didn't know about the grid. So I sent this off, these pictures off. And when I sent it off, that's when I read the guidelines. And then I realized that I was doing it wrong. Like... The whole certification process, I kind of did it wrong. So I was like, I I'm, I'm used to failing. So let me fail and then I'll learn from it. And then I'll post the right pictures to get certified. And to my shock, I was certified instantly by Sister Logs. I sent the wrong pictures. I did everything wrong. It wasn't the angle. I did it wrong. I was rubbish. And Sister Logs certified me when I was waiting to be failed because I knew about other people who had got things slightly wrong and they'd fail them but I passed and from that day when I was certified I wasn't audited there was no quality check I could do what the hell I wanted to do as a matter of fact when I was on her head I realized they taught me how to create a grid there create a grid there and then they used to they taught you small medium large um and then when I was here I realized whoa to do because I wasn't taught that in three days of them talking about health and safety and what not to call African hair and da, da 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 and actually not being taught really well they didn't cover here I didn't know what to do so I made it up as I went along and that's when I was like wait I can just make this up so I'm just letting you know you people who think you can sit in a sister locks chair because the person is certified there's no auditing there's no quality check you sit there at your own risk also it's such a lazy way to get like to start practicing this on somebody's head like okay i'm certified and therefore i can do what i want so when people are saying oh i notice my locks are thinning yeah i'm certified just sit down let me interlock your hair let me retighten your hair um i'm noticing that the pain is increasing um i'm seeing my scalp more yeah i'm certified sit down let me just do your hair right so many times when I'm speaking to people doing, during the consultation process, so many times they have said to the certified consultant, this hurts, I'm thinning, my hair's broken. Even they say, oh, your hair's broken off, right? The conversations you're having with your certified consultants is ridiculous when they are telling you that's correct. All the information is there that they do not know what they're doing. You know why they don't know what they're doing? They are serving sister logs. They're serving a grid. They're not serving your African texture hair and the type of hair you have. Do you understand how diverse African texture hair is? African texture hair is so diverse and dynamic. It is like pfft. every time I'm on someone's head, I'm on a client's head. I'm like, oh my God, something's changed. This is going on. Do you know, like when you're broken and you're stressed, apart from stress being external, do you know that your strands change? Your strands change when you're not happy. And so when the person is touching your hair, they have to touch it in a different way. I think because I deal with knots and I touch along the strands, I get a lot more message. But people are just using a tool and just pulling. And that hair's like, I don't want this today. So... 
I don't trust the fact that I can give people the information and they will consistently deliver like I do on my client's head. And so honestly, that is why I'm like, once you're tired of sitting in that certified sister locks consultants chair, Melissa will show you how to take off your hair in a much more kinder, loving, respectful, celebratory way where you can live with your African texture hair in small size locks. Be careful of the personality type that think they own your head. Be careful of the personality type that is keeping your hair, that loctician, that consultant, keeping your hair vulnerable. You know, just slightly sick, just slightly in pain, where you know when I'm in pain or when my hair feels fine, weak, vulnerable, I'm going to run to the chair and get my expert consultant, expert loctician, expert certified person to save my locks. All you're doing is when your hair is vulnerable, when your head is vulnerable, when your sister locks is vulnerable, when your small size locks is vulnerable, when your micro locks is vulnerable, all you're doing when you run into the chair prematurely is prematurely balding your head. Understand that that consultant carries on. So if that consultant's hair is gorgeous and yours is not looking right, they don't qualify. And if their hair is not looking right and your hair is not looking right, they don't qualify. Before the balding starts, your hair starts breaking, you get the pain, you get the fine hairs. Before it's pretty obvious that there's deep trauma, all the signs are there first, the stretching of the locks, that the person doesn't qualify. Now, understand this. There are personality types that are doing that intentionally to your head, weakening your, fo your follicles, weakening your strands so you go back more regularly. Their solution when you say, oh my God, I think my hair is thinning. Oh my God, I think something's wrong. I think that... Come back more often. Come back every four weeks instead of five weeks or six weeks. They increase it. You are meant to live with small size locks, how you want to live with your small size locks. Do you understand? Like, at least if you break off your locks, you're doing it, you did it, and you understand why. But you're giving the power, you're disempowering yourself, giving somebody the authority to damage your hair. This will only make sense to you whose hair is thinning. I keep saying, if you're a fan of sister locks and your hair is thriving, wonderful, my hair didn't. And I'm representing those people who want to be free-spirited, who want to try different things, who don't want to use a specific shampoo, who don't want to avoid water. I, I'm speaking to the people who want to wash their hair when they want to wash their hair, oil their hair when they want to oil their hair, do what they want to do, when they want to do, live with their greed growth, the independent thinkers, the creatives, the ones who are busy with their lives. They are so busy, they don't have time to be going on social media, looking at one person, another person, another grid, another grid, another grid. They're just looking for somebody who is going like, this is the most sensible option. So these are the two messages I want to leave today. The first is certified does not mean they qualify to work on your head. Qualification to work on your head is love, respect, and paying attention, slowing down. When I was in the sister locks class, it was all about speed. You cannot get the information you need about African texture hair with speed. You must slow down. And that speed is what people speed up, they get certified, and actually they're not qualified. And the next is, be careful of the consultant, the loctician, who believes they own your head. Who, they're justifying the way they're treating your head because they own your head and they're keeping your hair vulnerable so that you keep going to get your hair done. The reality is, to have sustainable, small size locks, you must leave your hair alone and you must not disturb your hair. Hydrate, water, wash when you want, do what you want. It's just much more enjoyable, as in the case of my hair. Right. I'm going to try and read the comments because I'm trying to teach you guys how to... Be expansive in the way you think. Normally, I run off and I'm like, I don't know how to read the comments. This is the first time I'm going to try and read the comments, right? Let me see what I can do, right? 
Let me see. Oh, it goes right to the top. I can't tell if you're British or African. Um, I'm one of those near natural hairstylists who care for the hair. I would appreciate your knowledge. Thank you. Hello, Star. Hello. Love and respect. I've missed you. You sound so passionate about African. I am passionate about African. Right. Yes, I did. I read all your messages. Thank you. Um, you know I'm Sierra Leonean, right? I'm Sierra Leonean Gambian. Um, and I live in Britain, near London. I think the reason why I'm getting this download. Hi, Harold Florida. Um, I think the reason why I'm getting these downloads is because I think it's because I have the combination of my West African background and the fact that I'm a Londoner. I think so. I think, I feel like I was chosen and I feel like it's because I have the combination and my mom's Gambian. So like I grew up in part of my childhood in Africa and I watched the most amazing hairstyles and it wasn't done in private. And like people were just, everyone just knew that person is the person who does this kind of hair. And like we'd be chatting and it wasn't secretively like that. And it wasn't like filled with fear and insecurity. I think the biggest problem with Africa is like, okay, we're trying to get our hair neat, neat, right? But I think the problem with sister locks is this secrecy. And um, I feel like what I'm doing, um, I'm trying to protect people from knotting their hair wrong because Sister Locks taught me not, don't knot, don't knot because it'll bunch up. And you guys, Sister Locks is knots. It's just interwoven. That's the difference. And it's just pulled and pulled and pulled. And it, when it's pulling like that, you know, when they're pulling it, passing it through and pulling it through, um, that that is them changing your texture of your hair, like forcing your hair to stay in a grid. And they're pulling it and they're weakening your follicles. They're uprooting your follicles and they're forcing. So, you know, when they concentrate on pushing it through your growth and then forcing it, that's the flattening. That's the beginning of flattening your hair. But it's because it's serving a grid. And what I'm trying to do is when I when I individually teach you, I understand your African texture. I start looking at how your hair is curling. And, you know, we deal with water. And then I can tell you about your hair. And so for me, knotted locks is about celebrating your hair, the individuality of your African hair. If I started showing you how I knot... It's super dangerous because how not sit in one head, it sits differently in another head. I'm articulating myself correctly. I don't know. I don't know if you're getting it. So I rather on a one-on-one -on -one look at you and go, oh, your hair does that. Or do you hand, your hands do this? And the combination of your, how your brain works, how your hands work, how your hair reacts to the water, how the knots sit, I can give you the right information that's better, best for you. So it just feels super, super love, healthy, that one-on-one -on -one connection. I just love it. I hope this helps someone who is thinking I should sit in the certified sister loss consultants chair because they know what they're doing. Or I should sit in my uh, loctician's chair because they know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. If your hair's thinning and you're in pain, they don't know what they're doing. It's still guesswork because with African texture hair, it changes like it changes internally with our exposed to stress. It changes when we're happy. It changes with the season. It changes what we're eating. It changes when we're pregnant. It changes when we're aging. Like it's changing, it's changing all the time. And you are the expert. I just believe that you're the expert. And if you've tried to go to a professional um, and it's not worked, then this is an option. This is not for everyone, you know, because you know, there's one of me, like, you know, like Dr. Cornwall has like sisters and like, she's got like her team. Like there's just one of me. So I I really believe that I'm called into this space to really support you on a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I see you. I hear you. I am you. I know you. I get it. Like, it's just for a place of deep love and connectivity. And it's just been an honor, can I just say? It's just been an honor. Melanated international women to just support you on a one-on-one -on -one privately. I just love it. I'm addicted to it. Thank you for watching this post. Um, let me try and read the comments before I say bye. Hey, good evening, Ted. <laughs> Listen, not Ted Locks is not for everyone. Honestly, it's not for everyone. It's just for like when they like when I'm teaching, sometimes I say to people, um, I can't always articulate what I'm trying to teach you but you can feel it or you can see it it's not for everyone so if you're struggling to say i really want not to look but i'm not sure you're, you're not ready 
You're, the only people already, they just, you just know. It's actually non-verbal, the connection. So I'm not trying to convince anyone because like you have to really want it. And like, it's just an spiritual intuitive thing. So if it's not for you, don't worry, just do what you're doing. You remember when my hair was flat, right? Yeah, and now it's full, yeah, knowledge, full, yeah. Yeah, I do what I want. I want you to do what you want. Thank you, Beverly. I'm trying. Yeah, Mimi, don't frost yourself. You're not ready. I've had this for five years now and I don't see anything. In. That's fine. Why are you watching? Oh, I would like to know. Okay, no, that's fine. If you want a chocolate girl, if you want to learn, then, you know, you can learn. Like, this is just an option. This is just, just an option. I'm not telling you, Loretta, how much it costs. Like, my contact details at the end of each post, you can send me your video of your hair, and then I can look at your hair, and then I can send you the appropriate information. So the one thing I'm not going to ever discuss is cost or how it's done. Um, yeah, you'll have to pay to get that information. Yes, so I think that's it. Thank you for watching this post. I, I'm trying to get to... Who am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to you who I can save your hair, right? I can help you so that I can teach you so you can save your hair. Because I'm not really saving it. I'm teaching you. I'm passing on a knowledge. And then um, you will do the what, I pra what I'm teaching you. You will then do what you need to do to save your hair. I'm, I keep, I'm coming on live because I'm really desperate to get... You who's looking like you're going bald, I don't want you to go bald because if it started thinning and you started seeing your scalp more and you can feel this area, this area, it starts showing here, here and here. Um, it, start, you, it starts showing up before, for a long time, like a year or so before, then um, I want to help save your locks because I... I'm really traumatized by the fact that I have to tell people I can't help you because you don't have enough locks on your head for me to teach you knotted locks because knotted locks isn't like an automatic, you know, your hair's going to come back. So I feel like, honestly, those are the people I'm trying to reach. The people who are feeling a bit like emotional, scared, vulnerable. They're not social media. You're not social media people, you people. You're not seeing people who look like you because nobody's sharing their scalpy heads online. Um, and you're just so feel alone and you're worried. You are the one I'm really, 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 really trying to connect with. I really want to help you show you a different way because I feel like I needed a different way and I was different and I didn't find anyone that was like me or doing what I was doing as a consultant. And it was a, it's a, it's a really lonely place. And privately, if we connect, then I'm going to be able to hopefully help you in time because I don't want to give you the bad news of like, I can't help you. So the other posts say, like, if you've discovered me and you're worried about your hair, then I would say, just stop. Don't go to that next retie and just contact me. And then another thing I'm gonna say is, I apologize in advance to all of you who are watching this live post. You're like, Melissa, you've not got back to me. Uh, I've sent you a message or I've sent you a video and I'm waiting to confirm dates and all of that. I'm sorry, I am going to do it. Um, I will confirm dates, but also like chase me, um, like remind me, poke me, go M Melissa, hello. Um, simply because of the busyness and I'm trying to do a lot of different things. Like when I come live, this is important because I'm just getting somebody to stop before it's too late sitting in the chair because if that follicle finally decides it's dormant and the hair is going, then it's gonna go. I want the flatness to go away. I wanna wipe out the flatness. And I feel like this, all of these are important work, including me dealing with the customer service bit where I have to reply to you and videos and organize. I'm doing all of that, but be patient with me. And also, yeah. Do like remind me because then I'll be like, I'm sorry. And then I'll get you dates and stuff like that. Thank you for watching this post. What products do you use for hair loss? I don't know about hair loss products. I'm um, Tunisia. I put I put um, Tunisia's contact um, information. Can Tunisia is you can talk to her about products. Um, and our details are there. Okay, so. I have small locks that I started myself and get retired every eight weeks. It will be a year in September. Great. Um, transition to Nottingham was one of the best. Ah, beautiful. Woo -woo. Yes, it is. 
a grateful girl for you. Thank you, Crowned Down 33. I lost the start, not so lost October. Okay, I'm so wide open. Thank you for watching this post. Take care of yourself. Until the next time. Bye. I'm quite proud of myself. You're loving your journey. I'm quite proud of myself because I wasn't, like, I didn't understand how to read comments and I've done so. Hope that inspires you who I'm learning when I'm going, you know, you need to do it like this. You need to do it like this. You know, you've got this bad habit. You, know, you can see, look, Melissa went out of a comfort zone and read the comments. Take care of yourself.